Jared Poland, Fro knows photo.com and this is a pretty cool story this is something a little different than what i've put up before but i think it's going to help a lot of people get into the right mindset when they're just starting out uh to see the image or to start to you know be inspired by somebody who may have never used a digital slr before being able to capture some really really amazing shots with not much coaching at all basically no coaching at all just subtle subtle things from reading the site uh, my friend Taylor she uh, she has a love for photography she has always taken pictures and up until this point she has not had a digital SLR she's been using her Canon film camera and that's what she's been comfortable with for a long time uh, so I let her borrow the D3000 and the 3518 a basic setup with just an 8 gig card set to raw uh, actually, I only set the camera to aperture priority because I know that she knew a little bit from her film camera, but she's never had more than 24 shots uh, to work with. And I basically just gave her the camera set to aperture priority. It was on 400 ISO and just sent her on her way to do whatever she wanted. Uh, so in the span, I think she had the camera for about a week and she ended up taking, what, 363 pictures. And I went through and I, and I just focused on a few of them that I'm going to talk about because it's just, when I was sitting here going over the images with her, it was just really, really great to see just composition and what she was able to do without really knowing much about the camera and that's what photography is about it's about it's not always about being technically correct or knowing the most about how technique works or that everything has to be so you know your settings have to be perfect or it has to be like this when you're first starting out the best thing to do is just shoot observe shoot the pictures and then sit down and review them later and go back and look at your settings and say all right well, what could I have done differently this time? What did I cut off or how was my framing? And then you go from there and that's the best way to learn. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's going to happen. It's just a matter of doing and then you really start to get good and you start to understand what's going on. And you may never understand fully technically why things are happening, but maybe you just have a feel for photography and, and just understand, I don't know, basically how to make those changes on your own uh, instead of, say, using a light meter, maybe you do use the screen and have a feel for the screen and say, all right, I know that the screen may be a little bright, so I have to compensate this way with my shutter speed or ISO to make it right. But let's look at some of these images and just see what she did. So really, she did not change out of aperture priority or change her ISO. She really didn't, what she said is she didn't know, understand that, you know, that she would need to do that or had to do that, which is fine because remember, coming from film, she would have only have shot with one speed of film uh, in that whole camera for that 24 frames. So here's just a, an image, and it's composed extremely well. It's shot at 1 40th of a second at f2.5 ISO 400, and remember, this is the D3000, and she basically did a fantastic job with everything. This composition is spot on. The sharpness, the focus is right on. In this case, it's her daughter writing a note to, I guess, during Easter to the, uh, the, the, the Easter bunny. Yeah, that's right, the Easter bunny. So as we move forward, we're just seeing, she's seeing the image. She's looking and going, all right, if I focus on this area, this is what's going to happen. And then if I focus on this area, this is what's going to happen. So basically, she was further away on this at a higher angle. So more is going to be in focus from front to back, even though it's at 2.5, which is pretty narrow. Um, and then you move to the next at a lower angle. It's the same 2.5, but now we just have a much shallower depth of field. So really, she's just playing around. And what was great about her images, it's not like she motor drove motor drove through her, her files. She took pictures and then recomposed and then moved and didn't really delete from the camera. So she's seeing very well. Same thing here. So it's just different different angles. And then she went to the park. And look at this angle. You know, could it, it, it may have been possible that it would have been a little tighter. Could it be different? But you know what? This is how she shot it. And, and I think the composition is right on. Just learning from some of the things that we've talked about, she and I, in the past, she didn't put her, her daughter right in the middle here. She focused, she composed, she took the image, and then we converted it to black and white, and it is solid. One four hundredth of a second at f3.2. Again, with the 35 millimeter, that's the only lens she had. So that's great. And then another frame. Sure, it's a little tight top to bottom, but you know what? 
for somebody who's never really used the digital SLR, digital SLR before, this is just some amazing stuff. And her her um, very very good friend is well. She you're gonna see pictures later of her having a baby. But I saw this picture. I was like, wow, that is an amazing angle. Great framing. And it this could be. And this this is pretty much unedited. Everybody, this could be a, a magazine shot for a nursery for how to set it up. And it's just. It's just really cool to see somebody pick up a camera and just start to see the image. And it's funny because this morning she said to me, uh, basically she was having tea and then she put it down and she goes, wow, it's weird as I I am seeing images everywhere. I'm seeing the picture everywhere. I'm framing everything I look at as if I was going to take the picture. And that right there is the mentality that you want to have. You want to start to pre-visualize and look at the world as if you're looking at it through the camera. And when you start to do that, you start guessing your settings. You start saying, hey, wow, this should be shot at X, Y, and Z, and this would be how I would frame it, and this is how I would process it later. So you're running through the whole process of shooting, composing, editing, all before you even do it, and sometimes even without a camera. So that is just an awesome thing that she said. She's like, it's amazing. I'm, I'm now starting to see images, and that's that's really great to know. And here, just cool seeing this and seeing how you can blow the background out. And then here's her best, you know, her best friend. She's pregnant. And when I asked her, I said, what would you change about this image? I didn't, I didn't critique it, and didn't, you know, it's it's a great image. Uh, I didn't, you know, be I wasn't harsh at all. And I said, what would you change about this image? And she said, well, ideally, I would have liked to have kept both of her feet in there. Now. She may have had the feet in there, possibly in the D3000, you don't get full coverage. Well, even though it would give you a little more. So, yeah, it's possible. She just it just she just she missed it, but she knows, she saw it. She goes, I wish I, I, I got both of her feet in there. So that's cool. Nice composition, nice framing. Um, and then her daughter and uh, her daughter's best friend just laying in the grass. This is great. She got down on the angle. So she's just seeing things different. She's just going and shooting, and it's great. And then now we're going into a delivery room. So I'll warn you now, there's going to be some pictures of a baby just born. Um, just This is really great. This isn't even edited yet, but you know she, she hasn't done any editing up to this point. But you can just see that she's seeing the image. She's looking and seeing things going on. And you know just looking at this image, you can see that there's something there. There's a note, and then there's the stethoscope, and it's just... It's just great. It's just a great shot. I like it. And then I don't know where this is, but it's a it's another interesting shot. Just playing with composition and playing with focus. Uh, and then her best friend just in the in the delivery room. And then just a fly on the wall. You know, she's just there taking the picture. And she she questions whether she should have shot it tighter. And we tried to crop and look at it. And she goes, No, I don't like it. Like you know, she didn't like it where it was just. <laughs> I'm drawing on the image. Um, she didn't like it where it was just pretty much like this she didn't think it felt right because that's not how she shot it she liked the fact that she had um hold on let me get rid of this crop she liked the fact that the nurse was in the back corner and everybody was over there and oh boy what am i doing she liked the fact that that was all there oh, i have to hit enter enter she liked that everything was there and this is a really good image. It's just before the baby. And then the reason I, I single out this photo is because it's shot at 1.8, a 60th of a second. And you know if one person is further back than the other, then they wouldn't be in focus. But right now, it's amazing that she was able to get the, them on the same plane and get it in focus. And that's just that's awesome. Um, obviously, the baby's just being born, just you know, capturing this stuff is really great and and for the first time using the digital SLR she did an amazing job and captured some amazing moments here with again the D3000 and one basic lens so it goes back to show you it's not all about the gear it's about seeing the image and starting to walk around like she said this morning that I see images everywhere and that's that's what it's all about regardless of how technical you get or if you're into learning all about the techniques or knowing that you know my f stops go from here to here or just or whatever it there's no right or wrong way to do this there's what works for you and maybe what works for somebody else and it's just what works for you is is what's is obviously what's going to be best so there's not one person who's going to tell you that 
It should be done like this. It should be done like that. There's differences of opinion. Take everybody's opinion, but formulate your own and you start to, you know, formulate your own style. And this composition is just spot on. This is an amazing image that these, you know, they will have forever because it's just, she, she captured it. She did it right. She not did it right. She did it. She just captured it. She just shot, you know, didn't worry about the settings because she didn't understand them fully yet. But look, this is what's going to happen next. She sees all the images. Now we can go through and look at the settings and we can go, all right, now let's take it to the next step. Your composition is spot on. Now let's start to think about what happens if we change the shutter speed higher. What happens if we change the ISO? All of these different things start to happen. So this is a great starting point. Just going out and shooting and starting to look at your images and seeing the world as a photo is what it's all about. So I hope this wasn't too long, but I just really wanted to focus and show you the images that she captured for the first time using the digital SLR. And I'm just, I was, you know, really, really amazed and just proud to see what she was able to capture because it's just it's just great shots for somebody just picking up a camera with one lens and also she said when we were walking around yesterday that yes it's difficult with the the 35 millimeter just one fixed lens because you're used to using zooms on whatever she was using with a film camera but you know what she's like I appreciate it much more now when I have to move and 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 fill the frame or compose it the way I want and I said exactly that's you get that now when you first start and then when you use the zoom lenses you can really start to you know just you know then you can use the zoom lenses to their full potential because then you're filling the frame you're char you're starting to try to use the camera and the lenses like you were using a fixed focal length lens so you know she did an amazing job i think these are some great images and i think you know for you guys or whoever's just starting out or just stuck in a little bit of rut you know what just throw a lens on the camera set it in i don't even care if you shot it in auto just go and shoot and just just have fun with it and that's something she said she said this digital made photography really really fun so it's all about fun it's all about capturing these images and just learning from what you're doing so that's that's really it for right now just i just wanted to point this out because i was really really proud of what she was able to accomplish using this camera jared poland fro knows photo.com see ya